DJ Pro was able to fit so many amazing features. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize the software to fit your DJ style. The first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is choose your view mode. So they fit so many features into the software because you could separate into different view modes. And the cool thing about the update is you could scroll down. So hopefully we'll be getting some more view modes. We just got starter mode, which is the newest view mode, but that's more for if you've never DJed before or you just wanna play around and maybe play a couple songs but not really DJ. So the two view modes that you're probably gonna choose from are gonna be in this column here. There is classic and then there is pro. The biggest difference is going to be with the jog wheel. So if you plan on scratching, you like turntablism and that's, and that's the kind of DJing you like, then you may wanna be in classic mode because this is where you're going to get the biggest views of your jog wheels. So here we have these big jog wheels. They're more like emulated record decks because it has this arm that is active. You could scrub through the track with it. And then also there's a button here that could turn it on, turn it off. Really close, the, probably the best representation of turntables on the iPad. So now if you choose classic mode, then there are many ways to customize it within this view mode. So the first one that I would recommend you doing is putting the waveforms here. Press the middle button. Now you have your waveforms. So we have jog wheels and waveforms. A lot of DJs that have been DJing recently, modern DJs are used to seeing the waveforms and it's a great way to see what's going on in your track without hearing it. Another thing you could do is open this up and then this opens up a mixer section. We just have our volumes, our gain and our filter. But if we press this button down here, which I would recommend you doing, then we get a whole mixer, lows, mids, and highs. And if you like DJing with Neuromix EQs instead of regular traditional EQs, you could press this drop down menu here, customize it to control the Neuromix EQs if you want. But for most DJs that want to get the most out of the software, I would recommend going to pro mode. So we're going to press the middle button here and we are going to switch to pro mode. Pro mode is where you're gonna get the access to more features at the same time, the most features at the same time. And when you're DJing, having more features, doing, doing a lot of things at the same time is very important. That's basically what DJing is. So here we have, here we have pro mode. It may look like this, it may look a little bit different because you could customize it a lot and I'm gonna show you how. First is gonna, I'm gonna start at the top and then go down. First is going to be these beautiful waveforms. So we have a nice view of these horizontal waveforms as the track goes. You see it. You see it scrolling to the left. Left, a great way to see what's going on. And if you notice, we have jog wheels here too. So we have jog wheels and waveforms at the same time. But if you don't like horizontal waveforms, you could press these hidden buttons by the one and two, open up a drop down menu, and we could do vertical waveforms a little bit hard to see i'm going to skip ahead a little bit if you want these vertical waveforms if you press in one of these buttons here see how this has our library selected if you unselect that then you get the biggest view of your waveforms so if you're used to softwares that aren't as jog wheel heavy maybe you use tractor or other dj softwares and you like djing with the waveforms instead of the jog wheels then this is where you're going to get the biggest view of your waveforms and you could scratch and manipulate them just like they were jog wheels that are active waveforms. So I'm just gonna go back. To get back to where we were, you're just gonna select one of these from down here. So it doesn't matter which one you have selected. If you unselect it, it'll bring you to the big waveforms. So now we're back. So you could do vertical waveforms if you want. I like them to be horizontal. And then another thing that I don't think a lot of people know is you could actually get rid of the jog wheels. So again, if you don't like the jog wheels, I want a bigger view of your waveforms, but have this view where we could have our mixer open down here, which is the next customization thing. You could have it, you could either have your library, you could have your features, and then down here, you could choose every feature that the app offers. And this looks familiar. It is the same thing from classic mode. But the difference is in classic mode, if you have this mixture open and you want those features, you're gonna lose the jog wheels and the waveforms. That's why I recommend pro mode because you could do more things at the same time without losing anything. So back to pro mode, back to pro mode. So you could get rid of the 
jog wheels, but we could put them back, but you could customize this even further because you could actually change these jog wheels. So if we go to the middle button, go to settings, and then go down to appearance, we have jog wheels. So there's four different jog wheels you could choose from, which is really cool. Right now I have it on extended. That's where you're gonna get the most surface area and it gives us information such as the BPM, how far on the track we are and how much we changed the BPM. But you could do compact light, maybe different lighting environments if you're outside DJing at a pool party, something like that. Or if you're in a dark club, you may wanna switch between dark and light to see which one is easier to see. And then if you are, uh, if you like the old school style, you could actually have it be the vinyl and it would show the record deck. But this looks really cool, but then you'll lose all the information. So I don't know why you would do that. So for me, I leave it on extended. Next thing here in these appearance settings that we can change is, is our cue points. So right now we have cue points in high contrast. So look over here, the whole square is the color. If we do low contract, low contrast, then just the little arrow is going to be, is going to be colors, colored a little bit harder to see. And the cool thing is with these cue points, if you press the pencil button, and then the drop down, you could customize what color you, these cue points are gonna, going to be. So for me, I would recommend every song that you put in your playlist, you mark down your cue points and at least mark down the start and stop cue points. So for me, it, it makes sense that start is going to be green or yellow and then stop is going to be in red. So you could customize these to be any one of these colors, they give you a good selection. And the coolest thing is these colors will appear on your controller's pads if you're using a controller that supports RGB pads. Another another thing that you can customize is the is the temporary cues. So down here, I have it so it just says Q. So I could go choose a spot in the track, press Q. And then it is going to save that until we go to a different spot in the track, line it up and press Q again. So now that is how this Q button works, but you could change that by going to appearance, start Q button. So right now it's on Q, but you could change it to set and jump. So now we get two buttons. So you could choose where you want it. and press set, and then you could press. And then you could press jump. So whichever one's easier for you, I like it. I think it's more simple and easier to use if you just have it as Q. So that's what I put on, but then you could customize it to however you want. Next is going to be on the waveforms. Again, if we press down, we could open up Neural Mix Nero mix stems in our actual waveforms. So right now it's vocals and it's vocals and instrumentals. So on the top here, you're gonna see the vocals. On the bottom, you're gonna see instrumentals and you can instantly isolate them up here or down here. And if you wanna learn more about DJ Pro's amazing Nero mix, check out this video over here.